all of you who are going to take you through the story for all level mathematics. And this video, I'm going to go through the expected response for the senior one math mid of term two for the year 2024. So this video is suitable for students in right from senior one up to senior four. So these are the papers we hope to upload mid-term exams and also end-of-term exams. Activities of integration will also uploaded with time. So we shall start with item one. Item one says the head teacher of the neighboring school has installed two bells for changing lessons in the school. Okay. The school has an O level and A level section. One day designed to change O level lessons takes 30 minutes per period, while the second bell for A level less ring for A level rings after 40 minutes. The two bells have different ringtones. Okay, both bells start to ring at 8 a.m. as a signal for lessons to begin. It has been planned for these bells to ring at the same time during break, know that word, same time during break, lunch time, as well as end of lessons. Break time lasts for half an hour, while lunch time lasts for an hour. The two bells are automated to ring at the specified intervals apart from the time for end of break and lunch time. Okay. Task A, help the head teacher to determine the fixed time for break, lunch, and end of lessons. And task B, give a reason why the two bells are designed to have different ringtones. So we shall start with task A. Task A, first of all, we have two different sessions. There is O level and A level. And they start ringing at the same at 8 a.m. Then they keep, but the O level rings after every 30 minutes while A level rings after every 40 minutes. But time will come when they ring at the same time. That will now be break time. Yeah, break time, lunch time, and end of lesson. So we want to find out that. To determine that, we have to, to find out the LCM of these two minutes, the 30 minutes and the 40 minutes. So if, if we divide by 2, we shall get 15 for this and 20 for this. Divide by 2. This divided by 2 leaves a remainder, that's why it remains 15. So you don't need to, to don't divide it if it leaves a remainder. So two, 20 divided by 2 gives you 10. Again, divide by 2, this remains 15, this becomes 5. Divide by 5, this remain, becomes 3, this becomes 1. Divide by 3, we get 1, 1. Therefore, the LCM will be... 120 minutes, which is the same as 2 hours. So now that I've got the, the LCM, we can now identify the break time, lunch time, and end of lessons. First of all, you know that lessons start at 8 a.m. Then break time will start after 2 hours. So 8 a.m. plus 2 hours will come up to 9 a.m. So this will be your break time. But break time lasts for 30 minutes, so we shall, which is half an hour. So 10 a.m. plus 30 minutes will give you 10.30 a.m. So this is when break time ends and mid-morning lessons start. And the bells will ring at the same time for lunch after two hours to give you 12.30 p.m. But And lunch time lasts for an hour. So we shall add one hour to that to give you 1.30 p.m. Then lessons end after two, two hours after that, which will be at 3.30 p.m. 
So basically that is what they wanted in part A. Part B, why the ring bells have different ringtones? The main aim is to avoid confusion for both in lessons of O level and A level. And that's what they wanted. Then item 2 says, In Namlonge, a certain family man had six children, Tom, John, James, Pius, Tina, and Henry. This man had property worth 250 million shillings only. Okay. He made his will and kept it with a friend. After his death, children were fighting for the property. As the elder son wanted to claim 50% as heir, the lawyer solved the situation by reading the will. Tina was given 10% of the property. You need to begin here. The remaining property was shared among the boys and his wife. Tom was given 1 over 5. John was given a quarter. James was given 15% and Henry was given 20%. Okay. Then Pius, the last born, was given 3% of what John was given. The remainder was given to the wife. Okay. Task A. Help the family administrator to determine how much property in monetary terms that each family member will take. Task B, what percentage of this man's property was allocated to his wife? And part C, with reasons, establish whether the distribution was fair to his wife. So shall begin, first of all they told us, so shall go person child by child and end with the wife. So the first one to get was the girl who got 10% of the property, 10% of the total property, which is 250 million. So come here and say that amount which was given to Tina will be 10% of the 250 million, which is 10 over 100 times 250 million. Using a calculator, it gives you 25 million so that is what tina got the next was they told us the remaining property was shared among the boys and the wife so we need to first get the remainder after that so remainder will be the total minus what tina got which will be 225 million okay then they told us after that, here yeah, remaining property, Tom was given a fifth, so she'll come and get a fifth of that, of the remaining property. So amount given to Tom will be 1 over 5 of the 225 million, which is 1 over 5 times 225 to give you 45 million. That was Tom. Then another person was next was from Tom. We go to John. John was given a quarter. So shall come and get a quarter of the property, of the remaining property, which is a quarter of the 225 million, which gives you 56 million 56, shillings. Then from John, we go to James. James got 15%. So she shall come and say, amount got by James is 15% of 225 million, which is 33,750,000. Then from James, we go to... From James, we go to Henry, who was given 18%. So we shall come and get 
eighteen percent of two hundred twenty five, which gives you forty million five hundred thousand shillings. Then from Henry, we went to we shall go to so Henry, we shall go to Pius Pius, the last born was given 3% of what John was given. So we let's first give marks for this, scores for this. Then also scores for this slide. So 3% of this is what the last one got. Yes, so we shall come and say amount given to Pius will be three percent of what John was given, which is three over hundred times fifty six million two hundred fifty thousand shillings to give you one million six hundred eighty seven thousand five hundred. Then from there they said from there they said after Pius, next is the remain the remainder which was given to the wife. So, what was left after everything, after all the children getting, is what was given to the wife. So, shall come and say, what was the total got by the boys? So when I add all these ones, I'll come up with this, which was given to the boys. But remember, the total which will remain after giving the, the girl was 225 million. So what would be the, the remaining part is what will be given to the wife. So this minus this given to the boys will give you this, 47 million, 800, 800 So I think you have got the amount given to the children and to the wife. Now we can go to task B. So task B says, what percentage of this man's property was allocated to his wife? So percentage, remember percentage is part of a whole, expressed in as a hundred. So shall get the amount given to the wife over the total of the man's property times a hundred, which gives you nineteen point one two five percent. Then you can go to task C. Task C says with reason or reasons establish whether the distribution was fair to his wife. So you need to identify the way the property was distributed and find out whether the distribution was fair or not. So of course if you look at this, this is what the wife got. Okay. But the funny thing is that there is one child who got more than the wife. So then that's enough to show us that it is unfair. Also the percentage shows the distribution is unfair. So you come to say that the dis distribution is unfair to the man's wife and the reason is because her share is less than that of John yet she is the caretaker. So expected the wife to get the maximum but instead one of the children got the maximum. Then also getting 19% of the total wealth is also unfair, yet she participated more in accumulation of the wealth. So basically that is what the two items required. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching and be reminded the next video will be now on Senior 1 end of term 2. So if you have not yet subscribed please click on the subscribe button below this video such that you can receive updates when the next video has been uploaded also. If you know of any student who is not yet on this platform, please share the link of this video with them via social media platforms like Facebook and
Sabrosa, Sayyid Ibn Qobin, if 